Hey, I got something new to talk about today. It's called twinning. But never mind what that means just yet. Let's watch Double King, a wonderful, imaginative, fluid animation by an Australian fellow named Felix Colgrave. I really love this film, and there's a lot I could talk about. I think I'll start with the style. In Adobe Animate, aka Flash, there's a tool called the Pencil Tool, and the way this works is it creates a line as you draw. The line is independent from any of the fills or paint strokes, so you can fill closed areas with the Paint Bucket Tool, you can make the lines thicker and give them fun shapes or strokes and drag them around. But the thing about the Pencil Tool is it is maddeningly rough. No matter what settings you use, you get all these stupid nodes everywhere. Does this look like a circle to you? What is this? And yet, it's this exact tool that Felix Colgrave uses. Double King absorbs your attention and you don't notice it, but these lines are wobbly like crazy. Look at this mess, it's beautiful. Felix takes the weakness of the tool and makes it part of the style. It's not perfect curves you can get with the pen tool, it's gritty, textured. Underneath the etchy lines is some exacting precision though, so don't let it fool you. Complementing the organic look of the artwork is the overall natural flow of Double King's story. The storytelling has a strange, spontaneous feeling to it, so I wondered how much planning went into the writing of the animation. As you probably know by now, most animations are storyboarded all the way through before they hit the drawing room floor. Double King is a two-year production that started with the very first scene of these little shell creatures. Felix invented the rest of the film as he went. He just made it up with no plans. If the process is to start with a scene and keep animating more scenes, how do you know when you're done? Well, you're done when you want your life back. So just stop the animation there. <laughs> The straight-ahead method does have some interesting side effects. Look at how the king's character design evolves throughout the cartoon. It begins with a sloped back and a neck, clearly revealing the black undercoat with big slappy feet. The neck goes away, and the robe now covers the feet. By the end of the animation, the body is a nice, simple arch. Felix has a lot of fun by repeating this arch-like shape, putting the character of the same shape through an arch fitting the crowns inside one another, making a forest of arches. Part of the visual appeal of the style comes from the shapes, especially a shot like this one. Which brings me to twinning. Twinning is when both sides of the character's body are doing the exact same thing at the same time, so the name twinning. We can go a bit deeper into that, and it means the character's pose has a bunch of flat angles in it. So here's a shrug with twinning, and there's the flat angles. Here's a shrug without twinning, and you see the angles, it's different. There's not a bunch of the same repeated angle everywhere. So twinning is basically perfect symmetry. In animation, twinning is usually seen as a bad thing for two reasons. One, if you're animating, it makes it hard to see what the character is doing if it's doing the exact same thing on both sides. Twinning, not twinning. The second problem with twinning, it's boring. Twinning, not twinning. One of the ways you can avoid twinning is what Felix does a lot in this animation, and that's to offset the left side and the right side by one or two frames. Watch how the left hand comes out later than the right. Now they both lower the hat and the right hand begins the retreat cycle two frames earlier than the left hand. So even though both of these hands are the exact copies of each other, no twinning happens because the timing is different. That was my wrist. <laughs> Now we can go back to the shapes here. I'm gonna slow this way down. Watch how each of the flowers starts its animation cycle at a different time. The diagonal rows are all on the same frame. So even though every object here is going through the same animation cycle, you avoid the twinning problem by staggering in rows. If all of the flowers bloomed at the exact same time, this sequence would be much less trippy than it currently is. But it's fine to twin from time to time. Sometimes it's even necessary to get the effect you want. I'll go back to five minutes in and show you some twinning in the king's hands. Perfect sync. Here the twinning serves a purpose, and that's to make the king look brutally efficient while he dumps the butterfly. There are not that many more examples of twinning in Double King. You can go through the animation a frame at a time, and you'll see very rarely are the left and right hands doing the same action at the same time. Anytime they are, it's for a reason, and it's immediately preceded or followed by a unique action from the other hand. 
And that's your animation lesson for today. If you enjoyed Devil King, you can visit Felix's channel and really dig deep into the evolution of his style. There are plenty of fantastical creatures and disturbing images to go through. Finally, some of you are dying to know, how many drugs did it take to make this stuff? Answer? None. None. <laughs> Come on, animators are naturally strange, you know this.